What's up, Prime fam? Brendan T. Toner, coach here at Prime Strength, and today's video is gonna be a breakdown of all my lifting goals in the year 2021. We're gonna take you through all the strength goals I wanna hit, the body parts I wanna bring up, my body composition related to body fat. I'm gonna go on the cuts. We're gonna be talking about how I'm gonna to get to all these places and take a look back at where I'm currently at slash was at, and we're gonna just kind of put myself in the spotlight because honestly, having a powerlifting and power building audience behind you on YouTube really puts the pressure on you to always wanna progress, and I actually like that so i'm going to throw myself out there say what i want to hit this year and make it come to fruition now diving in right away as always we're going to start with meets of 2021 my first one will definitely be february 6th in bakersfield california a lot of you guys already know my goal is to hit an 1800 pound total on the platform i fell a little short last meet i did hit a 287 and a half kilo squat pr which was 633 pounds <laughs> My bench last meet was 187 and a half kilos or 413 pounds. Then my deadlift was a 325 kilo deadlift or 716 pounds. Now this did fall short of an 1800 pound total. And I think my best way of securing this at this next meet, because it was a really quick turnaround from October into February, my goal is gonna be a 292 and a half kilo squat or a 644 pound squat. My bench press goal is 195 kilos, a 429 pound bench. And then my deadlift, I'm gonna aim for a 330 kilo deadlift or 727 pounds. Now you might notice there, my deadlift is kind of set low compared to the squat and especially the bench press even though I'm really known for my deadlift. And that's just because, honestly, my last couple of meets, my deadlift has not really shown through on the third attempt. Every time I get there, I'm usually dealing with an injury or gas. So this time around, I wanna be able to secure the total by the second uh, movement, the bench press. And that way, when I get to deadlift, I can just take an easy third or second attempt even. And then by the time I'm on my third attempt, if I wanna go for something big, I can do that. But I definitely wanna secure this 1800 pound total. Now, if I do that, what I'm gonna do is actually go on a cut. Now that brings me to my body composition goals, which I have not been shredded since the year 2015. And I would love to cut down and get super lean again. I was kind of lean in the year 2017, but sadly from both of these times, I don't have a ton of footage or pictures. I'm just weirdly don't take a lot of photos when I'm at my best, I guess. And what I wanna do is get back there, see how much muscle I've gained. And I also wanna tentatively play with the idea of competing at 198 pounds in the weight class for the USPA. I currently compete in the 220s. And as of this morning, I weigh 223 pounds. I'm really heavy. I don't know how realistic it is to get down to 198 because realistically, I would need to weigh about 210 pounds to do a water cut that's safe enough to keep performance high, but where I could still make the weight of 198. So this is an idea I'm gonna play with. We're gonna see if I can attempt to do that, but I definitely will be cutting down and getting shredded, which means the strength gains are probably gonna get zapped for a little bit, but this will honestly feel like nothing as long as I secure that 1800 pounds total first, because that's really why I gained a lot of the body mass that I did the last few years, was to stop getting injured and progress my powerlifting total. And now that I've done that, if I achieve that on February 6th, I'll feel happy enough to where I can cut down and start focusing on body comp. And then from there, I would also just like to kind of feel like a bodybuilder again. It's been a long time since I focused on some bodybuilding goals. So if I secure the meat total that I want on February 6th, I'll feel comfortable going after these body composition goals. So this is really kind of a pathway from one goal to the next, and I gotta execute each one to really successfully get to the next stage of these goals. Now for my strength goals of 2021, this section's a little interesting. In 2020, I squatted 640 pounds in the gym, insert the clip and the hype. Get it up, come on, get it up! Hey, that's what I'm fucking talking about! Two fucking times! I don't run from that shit! I make it fucking happen, let's go! <laughs> Now that was a really fun squat, but I have to be realistic. This year I'm gonna be cutting down if I'm successful with my first few goals. 
And with that in mind, the chances of me hitting a big squat PR are pretty low. So I'm going to set this at 650 pounds because if I could even pull that off within a year's time after going through this whole cut, whether it be at a higher body weight or a lower body weight, I would find that highly successful because my squat is the thing that I deal with the most injuries on. And when I get leaner, I have to really pull back on volume in order to not get injured. So the squat's going to be a modest goal. But if I could hit 650 this year after cutting down, I would be absolutely thrilled to even just add 10 pounds to my squat. Now, as for bench, I would love to bench press 450 pounds. After hitting 425 uh, in the year 2020, as well as a bunch of other just random bench PRs, whether it be rep PRs or variation PRs, I feel really confident about bench press again. I've solved a lot of the problems that held me back. My recovery is actually a lot higher on bench press. I don't seem to get as beat up from it as I do from squatting, especially at lower body fat set points. So I think I can set this goal a little bit higher and aim for about 450, even though bench press is affected by cutting the most out of the three lifts. So if I can pull off a 450 bench, I would say I'm doing pretty good after going through a pretty uh, rigorous cut. Now the deadlift, I have a huge goal of hitting a 776 pound deadlift. I'm very specific there. I chose the kilo conversion for a reason because in my mind, I'm visualizing hitting 776. If I can even pull 800, I'll take that. But the goal here is to just kill my deadlifts the year 2021. It's not as affected by body composition as much as the squat and bench. So I think this is realistic. And given the fact that I pulled 727 on a stiff bar and kilo plates this year, as well as a bunch of other deadlift PRs, without really focusing that much on my deadlift, I think this is a goal that is very doable. In 2019, I first pulled 700. Although I think I had been capable of this in the past, I just hadn't attempted it. And in 2020, I pulled 727 on a stiff bar, as well as a couple other deadlift bar PRs and some variation PRs. Now the deadlift, I have a huge goal of hitting 776 pounds. It's that precise. I chose the kilo conversion in pounds. The reason why is because I'm visualizing the hell out of this. I wanna blow up my deadlift in 2021. I've thrown it on the back burner, and even though I did that, I've actually gained a lot on my deadlift. I pulled 727 on a stiff bar in kilo plates, which was really big for me. And I also hit a bunch of other deadlift PRs uh, throughout the year. And so it's actually been a pretty successful deadlift year for me, even though I really haven't prioritized this lift very much while I focus more on my squat and bench and getting past some of the issues I was having. So I wanna blow up my deadlift like crazy. If I could hit even 800 pounds, I'll take that. But the exact goal I'm aiming for is 776. And it is not affected by body composition quite as much as the other lifts. So I think this is doable. And I'm going to go all in on the deadlift this year and really get back to the thing that I think makes me me, which is my deadlift strength. Now, a couple other random fun goals I want to throw in there is hitting a high bar squat of 405 pounds, so four American wheels for 25 reps. Now, my best ever is 408 for, I believe, eight reps. And that was like really nowhere near failure. I probably had another five reps in me. However, it was pretty heavy at this time. And I've also uh, squatted a 600 pound high bar squat set. Insert that clip in hype because it was a fun one. So my high bar squat's pretty good, pretty strong, but at the same time, I also am not gonna gain a lot of maximal strength this year because of the cut. So I think this one's kind of more of a work capacity, strength gain type of, of movement because I've probably been able to do this in the past if I would just train my work capacity a little bit. And with cutting down, I think my cardio is gonna get so good that this will kind of be a cinch even if my squat strength drops a little bit. So I'll definitely be trying to attempt that. The next one that actually comes to mind is getting my pull-up strength back. In the past, I've done pull-ups with 90 pounds for reps, really clean, full range of motion, and I wanna get back to that. I've had some injuries with the pull-ups as well as just getting heavier. They become kind of harder and I put them on the back burner. Really haven't been training them that hard just because I've been so focused on powerlifting. So it'd be nice to get my pull-up strength back and get those gains going as well. Now for my size goals, there's a couple of areas I wanna focus on from a body part standpoint. The first one's gonna be my arms. Now I got a really good strong set of back and trap muscles. My delts are really popped. I got really good symmetry when it comes to an X taper. 
but the one area I'm kind of lacking are my arms. And this has been an ongoing thing with me. If you guys have been following me, you know I always say I want to bring up my arms. And it's like every time I do bring up my arms, my back and traps just keep getting bigger. So I'm going to hammer away at this goal. I'm going to keep myself accountable and say it out loud. If you don't see me with more jacked arms, if I can't surpass that 19 inch mark in 2021, even after cutting down, I'm going to quit and just chop my arms off. That way I don't ever have to worry about them again because I need to bring up these arm muscles. My triceps especially, they're super lacking. So I want to bring those up. The goal of 2021, biggest one of all is bring up the damn arms. Now, goal number two is actually a funny one. I want to get more visible ab definition. Now, this is actually possible without really training my abs to grow, so to say. My ab muscles have always been kind of the area where I hold a lot of fat, and I would like to get them leaner, which spot reduction is possible. Science proved this a few years back. Mental Henselman has a great article on this. I'll try to remember to link it in the description box. If I forget, let me know in the comment section. But th this is actually possible. And so when I cut down, because I'll be in a caloric deficit, that is when the spot reduction actually becomes possible. Can I lose all my fat just in my abs? Of course not. But you can preferentiate fat loss from specific areas in your body part. So I'm actually going to be training my abs at a very high frequency to try to incite this to happen and get some better ab definition. Now, goal three, as always, who doesn't want this bigger quads? Now, my quads are actually a really strong point on me. You just can't tell because I'm so damn tall and lanky. So I'm six foot and my wingspan is about 73 and a half inches. I don't know what the length of my legs are, but they're super lanky. They're lankier than my arms, actually. And I've had at my best 29 and a half inch quads lean and over 30 inches when I was a little bit fatter. I don't know what they're currently at. I haven't measured them in a long time, but I actually got some pretty big wheels, but you can't tell in pants and that bothers me. So I want to make them so big that no matter what I'm wearing, no matter where I'm at, you can just tell I got big quads, which is a really hard thing to do on a lanky physique, but I'm going to make it happen. We're going to bring up these quads big time. We're going to make it so people are like, does this guy just skip arm day every day? It's funny because it'll probably just affect my arms from looking bigger and just make my arms look even smaller. So there you have it. Those are my goals of 2021. There's a few other goals I want to talk about with mentality and execution of program, but this video is already too long. I'll probably save those for another time. I'm actually thinking about starting a second YouTube channel in 2021 where I just kind of rant and go really in depth on some topics because admittedly on a main YouTube channel that doesn't sell. You're not going to get a lot of clicks if your videos are like 45 minutes long. I know a lot of you guys would appreciate that though. So that may actually be coming and you could be looking forward to that in 2021 as well. I wanna hear what your guys' goals are. Write them down below in the comment section because if you say them out loud, you write them down, it really is taking a step in the right direction to achieving them. So let me know what some of your goals are in 2021 in the comment section. Give the video a like as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I was really working on position execution. So this is huge. So if you're doing a high bar squat, okay, what are we trying to get out of that? For me, I'm trying to get a lot more quad dominance and a lot more core bracing going on, getting out of uh, extension because I do